so this UMG at the Ryman um, was one of the first like quintessential Nashville moments for me. It was a, a huge cornerstone memory that I'll always remember. The first time it was like, God, I've never been more nervous for stepping on a stage. It's great because everybody's here. Like I have the whole panel of country radio and like they're excited also. Sometimes I've debuted new songs here um, with a little bit of trepidation and anxiety. Keith Urban called me and Vince to do this thing, uh, <clears throat> kind of walk out on the end of the song he was playing and start trading solos around. Well, I thought that was going to go around maybe one time. And so we went around one time, I was like, okay, I'm cool. <clears throat> and then they go through a second time and, and then we get back around and Keith looks at me like we're gonna go around a third time and I'm looking at him like, man, I'm out, of, I'm out of stuff. To be able to stand on the same stage as the people that I look up to and I listen to on the radio and also be in the show with some of those people on the roster. Playing the rhyming is spiritual. It's just magical. It's such like a special place and you just feel like you're a part of this whole orb of country music since its beginning days. It's inspiring and it still makes my legs shake every I time I get on stage. The music sounds so good here, you feel good when you play here, and, and I think it's always special to play at the Ryman. It's the mother church and it's it's still one of the best places to just walk out with a guitar and, and sing a song just because it's it sounds so wonderful. Somebody said one time it's like playing inside an acoustic guitar. Hearing your voice bounce off those walls is unbelievable. I think there's very few venues that kind of still have that, that aura about them and this is definitely one of them. It's amazing to play my new single family tree with my universal family. The first time I heard my first single on the radio we were pulling into uh, Buck Owens Crystal Palace in Bakersfield. I cried and did like I'm sure a very embarrassing dance if it would have been filmed. Thank goodness it wasn't. My moment's very inappropriate but I'll tell you about it. Um, I was waiting at a truck stop for my bass player to take a dump in the minivan on radio tour. And here comes Mr. You Crazy on the radio. Dean and I were riding in his uh, blue station wagon and uh, Mark played, I think, Hold My Hand. Some, one of our first oh, demos. One of our first it might demos. have been, I don't understand. <laughs> might have been, I don't understand. <laughs> it was one of our first song demos. That you don't, no one's ever heard. Yeah. Unless uh, they listen to WSC radio yeah. in 1986. Exactly. <laughs> and we, we, we turned it off. Then we turn it off. It was the first time we heard it, and we <laughs> knew it already. So yeah. I still get that feeling. I still feel like once you hear it on the radio in a playlist, it's like, as I always say, that's why we work hard, is to get played on the radio with all the other people that are playing on the radio. But then when you grow up and get old, when your song comes on now, you turn it up. <laughs> <laughs>